Hello, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a word from the Lord for someone, and I have a feeling that it's for actually many. And the word is stay the course, stay the course. That's normally something that is given for people who are in a battle in the army and uh, and they've got to stay the course. Don't give up. Don't don't slack off. Don't detour left and right. Stay the course. Keep going. Keep going. We're in a battle. We're in a battle. The war's been won. Hallelujah. Jesus has done that. But we are in a battle. And the Lord said to me this morning, stay the course. That's what he said to me. And I knew he was speaking for someone. Stay the course. Stay the course. And that this person is, is feeling very hard pressed. I'm very sorry that you're going through something at the moment that's making you feel so hard pressed. Is what the Lord impressed upon my heart that this person is feeling. That you're hard pressed. It's coming at you from all angles, from all sides. But the Lord is saying to you, he wants to encourage you, whoever this is for. The Lord is saying to you, stay the course. Set your eyes, your sight upon our Lord Jesus. And stay the course. Straight ahead. No, no lagging behind. No detour on left or right. Stay the course. Philippians 1.16 says that we, that God will finish the good work that he starts in us. He will complete it. He will complete it. He's doing a work in each one of us. He will complete it. He won't leave us how we are. He will finish it. Okay. He will, he will finish the good work. Complete it. Ephesians 2.10 says that we are his workmanship. Not our own. God is doing a work. He's doing a work. Okay, the enemy might be coming left, right, front and back. And he might be doing something. Your flesh is not enjoying it. Circumstances in your life, situations, things happening, bills, finances, maybe health. Whatever is happening in your life, Father knows. And he's doing a work in you through it. Let him do the work. And how do you do that? You go to him. You submit it to him. Father, this hurts. Father, this is horrible. Father, I don't I don't want to do this anymore. Father, I feel like giving up. Father, this is so hard. Tell him. He already knows. And lay all that down. Because we fight the good fight of faith, don't we? We overcome when we look to our Lord Jesus who has overcome this world and all the things of the enemy. Though you may feel those things, it's not the truth. No, you're more than an overcomer. You are. Because greater is he who is in you than he that's in this world. The Spirit of God, he's with you. He'll cause you to overcome when you turn to him. And you're more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. You can do all things in him. Hallelujah, because he'll strengthen you. These are the, the scriptures. This is truth. If you look at your circumstances and how you're feeling and what's going on around you, you can get caught up and caught out. No. I know it's not feeling good. Whoever's watching this, he really impressed upon my heart. You're feeling hard pressed. No, you stay the course. Your eyes is on Jesus. Jesus stayed the course. He was ridiculed, he was mocked, he was slandered, he was persecuted, tortured. He stayed the course, kept his eyes on the Father and finished that race. He finished that race. Hallelujah. Aren't we thankful that he did finish that race? <laughs> what he did for us on the cross? We're going to finish the race set before us. It's not something we have set before us. Father has set before us a race. And we'll run that race with endurance as we look to him. 
and finish it. Hallelujah, get that crown of righteousness. Because he's doing a good work in us and he'll complete it. He won't leave us how we are. We turn to him. As we turn to him, he'll enable us to overcome. You can even have a peace and a joy whilst going through what you are. The flesh don't like it. It doesn't feel good. It can cause things in you that to come up that you're like, I didn't realize that was still there. Release it to our Lord Jesus. Lay it at his feet. Let him take it from you. You don't want it. Anger. It could be even um, discouragement, despondency, hopelessness, despair. Give it to him. Lay it at his feet. Say, Lord Jesus, I don't want those things. I don't want to complain. I don't want to worry. I don't want to be anxious. I don't, I don't want all those things. I just want to fix my gaze upon you, Lord Jesus, and keep my peace. Hold on to my peace and have joy and be led by your spirit. Tell him that. And his spirit who's within you, he's watching right now. One moment you could be feeling in utter despair, you turn to him and next thing, even though your circumstances are still the same, suddenly you just know it's going to be okay. You'll overcome, you'll empower you, and a peace will be felt through it. But you need to fix your gaze on our Lord Jesus. Fix your gaze on him. Set your mind on him. Not on what you're going through. Now, as you set your mind upon Jesus, he'll bring you the thoughts by his spirit, what you need to do to organize things, to overcome what you may, might need to say to others, what you yourself need to do. He'll bring you those thoughts and by leading of his spirit, enable you to do it. You rest in him. Rest in him, please. You do not fight the battle. Okay? We fight the good fight of faith. Faith. Faith in the one who is faithful. And as you turn to our Lord Jesus, who is faithful, he's the true and faithful one, he fights for you. Hallelujah. And when Jesus fights for you, that enemy, it's, it's finished. It's done. Though he may not stop that circumstance and that situation straight away, and your flesh wants it to happen, he will enable you to walk through it. And you will learn and you will grow. You'll be strengthened and better for it. He's doing a good work in you. And he'll finish it. He'll complete it. Because you are his workmanship, not your own. You're his masterpiece. He loves you. Please turn to him. Stay the course. Set your gaze upon Jesus. Don't look at your circumstances anymore. This is a word for someone. And I believe for many. Stay the course. Stay the course. It's a battle. There's a war. But let Father do the perfect work in you. Let him do it. He'll complete it. He'll do it as you turn to him. He'll cause doors to open. He'll make a way when before there seemed to be no way. He'll touch hearts. Things will happen. Generosity from people. Enemies will turn. He can do all those things as you turn to him and trust him. You lean upon him, you trust him with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust him with all your heart. Don't look at your circumstances and lean on your understanding. Trust in the one who makes a way when there seems to be no way. He is true and he is faithful. Spend time with him every day, please. Read your word. Read the Bible. Have communion with the Spirit of God. Greet him in the morning. Commit your day to him. And he will establish your thoughts. And he will lead and guide you. He will hold your peace. Don't let the enemy take it. Don't let your flesh have it. <laughs> hold on to your peace. Holy Spirit, for every person right now who is watching, I ask, 
for that peace to come upon them. You're the Prince of Peace. You're the you're the Spirit of the Prince of Peace. Peace right now, please. Peace to guard their hearts and minds daily. Thank you. They anxious. They be anxious for nothing, but in all prayers and supplications, give the requests. Make the requests known to the Father, with a heart of thanksgiving, and His peace will guard their hearts and minds daily. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Supernatural peace, please, upon this person right now who's watching. Enable them, empower them to overcome, to keep their minds, their eyes stayed upon our Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please help them to rest, to stop struggling and stop striving. Please let them rest. Help them to rest in what you can do, in what you can do as they turn to you. Thank you. As I turn to our Lord Jesus and set the, their eyes and their gaze upon him, you'll help them, Holy Spirit. I know you will. You're our helper, <laughs> our comforter, our counsellor. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's doing that. There we go. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you so much. They need you. Oh, please bring them refreshment. You're that refreshment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Living waters to come upon them, cascade over them like waterfalls. Refreshment. There we go. And peace come upon them. So they can just go, oh, I just suddenly feel better now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for loving them. Father, all your children who are watching, they'll stay the course. I thank you for the good work you're doing in them. And you'll complete it. And they are your workmanship, your spirit, doing the work deep in them, in their hearts, in their lives. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Okay. Love you all. God bless you. Father loves you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. No matter what you're going through, nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing. He loves you. Turn to him. There's someone, I see someone, I'm getting a word of knowledge, there's someone who's got their head on the pillow and crying. If you can't even speak the words in your heart, turn to him. Okay, just turn to him in your heart. He hears you. He'll strengthen you. you wipe those tears. He collects those tears and in a bottle and keeps them. He never sleeps nor slumbers. While you're in your bed sleeping, he's there with you watching over you. Wherever you go, he's with you. Turn to him wherever you are, no matter where you are. God bless you all. And his grace is sufficient for everything. Holy Spirit is that empowerment, that grace to enable you to overcome, to walk through whatever you're going through right now and finish the race and fight the good fight of faith he'll enable you to do it god bless you i'll see you in the next video <laughs> bye bye